the racetrack, go down to configuration, down to pit lane limiter, and turn that on. What's going on guys? Thanks for checking in on yet another video and as you guys read by the title we're going to work on two very important settings or features that this bike has being launch control and the pit lane limiter. Now um, I've searched over YouTube here and there trying to find a video that kind of covers both and explains it fairly well. I was not the biggest fan of what was out there so I'm trying to make my own version after reading the manual and trying it out for myself. So two things we gotta do okay we're gonna have to for both launch control and for pit lane limiter or enable all those you're gonna have to be in your race pro modes okay go ahead to your settings enable the racetrack go down to configuration down to pit lane limiter and turn that on now depending on where you are depending on on what track you might be or the location or event they might have different limitations there so I'm just gonna go ahead and mod this one a little bit modify it to maybe well we can leave it at four I I guess for the art for the pit lane limiter so just to kind of cover things really quickly and I'm gonna try to be as clear and as short as possible when it comes to this now hypothetical situation you're on the track you're gonna exit you have to enable whatever limiter uh, according to the track that that is there what you're gonna do is you're going to, once you're rolling in first gear, let's say 30, 50 miles per hour, whatever it is, you're going to enable or you're going to press down on the ignition switch and hold it down. Now, if, you're, if your revs are above your limit that you set yourself in the menus, the engine's going to lose power and it's going to engine brake really hard. Okay, so brace yourself for that. So my recommendation is obviously slow down to your rev limit that you yourself have set slow your revs down to there and then hold that button otherwise you are going to get that little push forward it's not a big deal nothing that anyone won't be able to handle but just so you guys know now if you guys are below your limit and you hold that in nothing happens you'll stay at below your limit so you can go ahead and start twisting the throttle up to that limit that you set okay now things that we have to take into consideration when you are let's say i am at 6000 rpms i hold down my ignition switch to enable the pit lane limiter while i'm holding this down obviously like i mentioned the engine's going to cut power my revs are going to drop down to 4k now there's something that you have to keep in mind it's very important because a lot of people have blipped their throttles and have flipped their bikes because of this if you hold if you are above your limit Okay, if you are at 8,000, 10,000 RPMs and you hold that button, engine's gonna shut off the power, you're gonna engine brake, you're gonna lunge forward, no big deal. Because the rest will drop to four and you'll keep on cruising. However, if your wrist is still holding at the throttle position where you're at 10,000 RPMs or more, and you let go of that button, whether on purpose or accidental, the bike is gonna immediately shoot up to those revs and it's gonna pop up. You can either flip it if you're not ready, you can crash, get hurt. So to avoid that, it is my recommendation that you guys brake and slow down or even close the throttle entirely, hold the button and enable the pit lane limiter and then twist your throttle until you see the RPMs go up to the limit that you set yourself. It might sound confusing, I'll give you guys examples, all right? And then uh, besides that, uh, for the whole launch control it's more so the same way to turn it on if you, the bike is rolling and you're cruising and you hold down that button it's going to enable the pit lane limiter if you have it on if you're at a stop a standstill like this and you hold it that will enable the launch control all right if the bike is moving pit lane limiter if the bike is not moving at all it will activate launch control all right so let's go ahead and check out some examples all right, finally, that was a lot of traffic. All right, guys. So like I mentioned, what we want, we want the bike to be in race pro mode, okay? So again, let's pretend we're at the track where you can see my throttle is above my 4,000 
RPM limit, right? Look what happens when I hold down the starter button, okay? Light flashes, power is cut, RPMs drop down to four, all right? To disable that, just to avoid any blips or anything, I'm going to hold in the clutch, let go of the button, now I can give it gas and ease off the clutch, all right? If I am at no throttle, my RPM is below my limit, I can hold down this button, limiter is active, and if I give it gas, it's not going to let me go past, it's not going to let me go past that 4,000 RPM limit, okay? Very important to make a note of that. I'll let some of these cars go by while well, the limiter is enabled. Oh, that's bumpy. Okay, now something else to make a note, all right? Again, if I twist my throttle a little less, my I'm below my limit, if I give it more, I reach that limit, and that's what the bike likes. It likes being exactly at the limit where your wrist twists to match that. The bike's not making any weird noise. If I give it more gas while letting the holding onto the button, the bike starts to shake a little more. The engine does not like that, okay? So I don't recommend riding for long periods of time like that, okay? Now, to give you guys an example of what happens, let's say I'm at 6,000 RPMs, seven, I hold down the button. Again, my wrist is at the 7,000 RPM limit, but the engine's not letting me go anymore. If I let go of that button, the bike's gonna jolt forward and it's gonna kick you, all right? Obviously, I did it at a much lower RPM, but if I was doing it at 10,000 and I let go of that button, the bike's gonna jolt forward, okay? Let me give you guys another example. I don't think there's any cars coming. Let this car go. Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh my god, bro. It does not want to go. Again, hopefully you guys understood all that whole pit lane limiter stuff. Now, for the launch, launch control, remember guys, it's the same exact way to turn it on to enable it. You're going to simply hold down the starter button while the bike is not moving, while you're at a standstill, okay? If you're moving, you hold it down, you're only going to activate the pit lane limiter. You could maybe flip the throttle if you're not ready for that. Be careful. But at a standstill, what you're going to do, you turn the bike on, you hold in the clutch, start the bike, obviously, right? Now, what you're going to do is you're going to hold down this button until you have a solid white light up here. And then at the very bottom, you're going to get a message saying you have X amount of launches available. For safety reasons, the, the bike only lets you do three out within a very short amount of time. If you burn all three, pull over, uh, let the bike rest, cool down a little bit, ride normally. It doesn't matter. And then those th that counter will reset within a short amount of time and you'll be able to keep launching the bike. All right. Now, something that you have to keep in mind as well, when you're about to launch, hold in that clutch. And what you're going to do with your wrist, you're going to twist the throttle up until you hit the limiter. Okay, don't pin it, then release the clutch. Don't do that. You're going to twist this throttle. You'll see the RPMs climb. Hold it where you see that the bike is uh, hitting that RPM limiter for that launch control. Okay, I'm going to do one as an example here on the side of the road. Again, hold this down. You can see I have two launches available because I just did one. I have the lights on, I'm ready to go. You're gonna twist this up until you hit the sound, or you'll, you'll get a really nice sound too when you hit that limiter like this. Just up to that point, that's all you gotta do. Just hold it there. Once you see the RPM starting to bounce, hold your wrist there and slowly, I shouldn't say slowly, like quickly yet steadily, carefully, let off that clutch and the bike's gonna take off on you, okay? As soon as the clutch is all the way out, you feel free to pin the throttle, okay? That's how you're supposed to be doing that startup according to the, uh, or launch control according to uh, the BMW guides or owner's manual and all that stuff, okay? So that's what we're gonna do right now. All right, hold, one left available. All right, here we go. Eh. 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 
obviously I'm just starting to do this I literally just read the owner's manual yesterday and obviously I don't have the confidence to do it yet but hopefully that gives you guys an idea you know take with that as you wish I really hope that video was instructive enough I hope it was short I hope I was clear if you have any questions go ahead and just comment them down below but guys thank you so much for checking in truly appreciate each and every single one of you guys go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you want to be able to launch it like not me but someone else that might be more badass than me <laughs> hit that like button share the video guys I truly appreciate it thank you so much for everything you guys do and as always have a great one I'll see you guys on the next one peace